YSN 12 News with breaking news. And first this morning, that breaking news, a deadly shooting near a Milwaukee bar. You have been listening to a press conference from the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department. They are handling this investigation. Once again, this is what we know so far. Police believe it was a targeted shooting. They say that three people are dead, two others seriously injured. Right now, the gunman is still at large. Massive trees like this one blocking the roadway after rain and strong winds uprooted them. One went away from a victorious NBA championship, the first in nearly 50 years. Electricity, of course, filled downtown, both inside and outside vice reform. The plaza is really the spot to be. Take a look here behind me. So fans uh, are just trickling in right now, as you said. Uh, the game's about an hour and a half away, but when you enter the plaza, you are already greeted with a lot of energy. I remember the guy that won the suite. He said he heard about it watching the news this morning. So, hey, that's why you watch WISN. You never know what you'll wake up to. I put, I, I put my call in. I learned that Brooke Lopez is half Cuban. And so you know me, 100% Caribbean. I'm 100% Caribbean, so of course I'm going to back Brooke Lopez too. So Brooke Lopez is now officially my favorite player as well. They took me over. This is WISN 12 News with breaking news. Right now at 8, we are following another deadly mass shooting. This time, it's in our area. Police say at least five people were shot, three of them killed at Summers House Tavern in Kenosha County. A public safety alert went out around 4 this morning asking people to avoid the area near Sheridan Road in 15th place as the investigation is still active. Early this morning, a heavy police presence on the scene and the suspect right now is still at large. Let's get straight to Hannah Hilliard. She leads off our team coverage this morning. Hannah, what are you learning? All right, Hannah, thank you. Matt Salemi right now is live in New Chopper 12 above the scene. Matt, what are you seeing? All right, Matt, thank you. We, of course, will continue to follow this ongoing investigation. For all the latest updates, just head to our website, WISN.com. But as police right now in Kenosha respond to one mass shooting, the investigation into last week's mass casualty shooting in Indiana continues. The community members there came together to remember the eight victims shot and killed at a FedEx facility on Thursday night. Half of them were members of the sick community. As ABC's Karina Mitchell shows us, the alleged shooter's family is now offering their sincerest apologies to the victims. ABC News, New York. The Sikh Temple of Wisconsin is reaching out to Indianapolis. They posted a message on Facebook yesterday asking for strength for the victims' families. Unfortunately, they are no strangers to violence like this. You may remember a gunman attacked the Oak Creek Temple in August of 2012. Right now, the front page of the temple's website still shows pictures of the six people who died that day. Well, we know it has been a difficult morning, and sometimes you can look to the skies for a little, a little peace, a little calm. Let's take a live look outside right now. Partly cloudy out there, but we are expecting some sunshine to peek through. Let's get straight to meteorologist Molly Bernard in the Weather Center. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Molly, thank you. I'll check back in with you in a bit. On to coronavirus coverage now. This morning, a devastating milestone in the pandemic. Three million people have died, and more than 566,000 of them were from the United States. But the fight continues. More than 3.8 million doses of the vaccine has been administered in Wisconsin. Over a quarter of Wisconsin residents are fully vaccinated and nearly 40 percent have received at least one dose. Health officials continue urging people to get vaccinated. Dog News reporter Courtney Sisk caught up with some people who got their vaccine this weekend. WISN 12 News. You can make an appointment or just walk in to get your vaccine at the Wisconsin Center. Site coordinators say there are no wait times and parking is free. Milwaukee's Destiny High School held a vaccine clinic yesterday. Barriers like distance to clinics make it tough for some people to get their shot. And this clinic helped reach more people experiencing those barriers. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes toured the site pushing for vaccine equity. Be diligent in addressing. Destiny High School will have a second vaccine clinic at the same location next month. You can find where you can get your vaccine and links to book an appointment along with answers to vaccine related questions on our website, WISN.com slash vaccine. Yesterday, state health officials reported 727 new cases and eight more COVID related deaths. Time right now, 810 and on to developing news. Dodge County deputies say a man and a teenage boy are dead after an apparent murder suicide. It happened inside a house yesterday near Sweetbriar and Country Lane in Watertown. Deputies say evidence shows the 52 year old killed the 16 year old, then killed himself. A neighbor who saw police near the house Friday night describes that community as tight knit. I have a daughter, same age. It happens everywhere. 
Police have not released the names of the two people who died or the relationship between them. A memorial flyover all in honor of a Wisconsin National Guard pilot. Air Force Captain Derwood Jones died during a training flight last December in Michigan. Yesterday's flyover in Madison happened during a memorial service. Community members came out to pay their respects. Tributable flyover with the uh, F-15s and the F-16s. Members of the 115th Fighter Wing and 123rd Fighter Squadron flew into a missing man formation over Truax Field. Time right now, 8-12, as we head to break, we are following breaking news, reports of another mass shooting at a tavern near Kenosha. Anna Hilliard has live updates after the break.